Hi everyone, Anthony Morganti here. In today's video, I'm going to show you something new that is in Adobe Camera Raw. Now, some of you may remember in the past when Adobe added something to Camera Raw, they added that same thing to Lightroom at the same time. Well, over the past year or so, Adobe is doing things a bit differently. They've been adding things to Camera Raw and kind of giving them a test run there, working out all the wrinkles. Then once they're satisfied that it's working well enough in Camera Raw, then they bring it over to Lightroom. While this feature I'm going to be showing you today is in Camera Raw, but it's not yet in Lightroom, but I'm pretty certain it's going to be coming over to Lightroom someday soon. Now, you notice I have an image opened up into Photoshop because this feature is in Photoshop. It was added to Photoshop less than six months ago. And I want to show you how it works in Photoshop because it works slightly differently in Camera Raw. Specifically, it is the ability to remove distractions. You can see I have this image here and we have two joggers going through the scene. To remove the joggers in Photoshop, you would go to the Remove tool. The Remove tool is this little like band-aid with the stars next to it. And then right here, there's a little drop-down, Find Distractions. And there's two different things you could do here. You have one-click removal of wires and cables. And then you have an edited removal of people. And that's what we want. So we're going to go to People. And what it will do is it will search the image and it will find the people. And when it finds the people, it puts this overlay on them. And you could add to it or subtract to it because you have a plus brush by default. You could come up here and click the minus brush, let's say, to remove some of the overlay from where you don't want it. Or optionally, you could hold in the option can of Mac, alt can of PC, and you'll temporarily, as long as you're holding that key in, jump over to the minus brush. But in this case, it selected the people find. So we'll come up here and we'll click this little check mark. And when you click that check mark, it will take a little time, but it will remove the people. And what I found, it works pretty well. It does a good job like 90, 95% of the time. Sometimes you have to come in and fix it a little bit. But you can see it's doing it. It's taking a little time on my older iMac. Hopefully I'm going to buy one soon, a new one soon, so it'll go a little faster. But as it's doing its thing, I'll just keep talking and rambling until it's done. And hopefully it gets done soon. When I did this, actually, when I did this uh, testing it out, it did it relatively quick. quickly. I think the screen recording software I use slows it down a little bit. So you can see it did a great job. It removed the people. Now you could do this in Camera Raw, and you know, so you don't have to go into Photoshop to do it. Let me show you how to do that. So I'm not going to save this, and we'll close this down. I have the I have two images here. We're going to do it with two different images. So we'll take these, and I'm just going to drop them on the uh, Photoshop icon in the dock. You could do that on a Mac. And uh, they'll both open, because they're RAW files, they'll both open up into Adobe Camera Raw. And this new feature is considered a technology preview, and you have to turn that option on. So I'll go to the image we were working on. And to turn on the technology preview, if you don't already have it on, click this little gear in the top right-hand corner. Then go down to where it says technology previews, and just make sure that checkbox is checked. And when you do that, you'll have to close down Photoshop and reopen it, or close down Adobe Camera Raw and reopen it, and then you'll have this feature available to you. And the feature is available in the Remove Tools. So you go over here to the Remove Tools, the little eraser right here, and you can see you have all these different Remove Tools. Then at the bottom, you have People. So you see that there? Roll that open. As soon as you roll it open, it will find the People. Now, the main difference between the Photoshop version of people removal and this the um Adobe camera raw version is you don't have a brush so i can't come in here and modify it now you will notice that it caught the lights see these lights over here you might not be able to see them under the overlay but the same kind of set of lights is over here on this side as well so it thinks these lights are people notice in photoshop it didn't do that but for some reason in camera raw it thinks these lights are people found the other people fine over here. But what do we do? We don't have a brush. I can't come in here and modify it. If I click remove, it is going to remove the um, the lights there. And if I go then to the actual remove tool, I can't undo it because I tried it. But you can kind of fix it. We need to do, since we have two different erasers here, click on this eraser to make it active. And then click the delete key on a Mac keyboard or the backspace key on a 
PC keyboard, and you can see now that I removed it. So I can't add or subtract from this. But we'll click Remove. And once I click Remove, you'll see that it does as good of a job as uh, it does in Photoshop. And again, I think this is um, something that will be coming to Lightroom soon. What I do hope they do have in Lightroom and add it to Adobe Camera Raw as well is the ability to allow you to modify the mask after it gives you the mask. So after it picks the people, you have a brush here and you could add to or subtract from the selection. Um, because if you go up, as I mentioned, after it does the selection, if you go up like to the erase tool up here, there's nothing here to add a brush. If you go up to like to the erase tool, there's no overlay there. There's just a brush. So I can't undo it. Do you see what I'm trying to say? So that I think is something that should get added to the application. I have this image here. Um, we have all these people in this scene. So here, same thing. We'll go to the erase tool. We'll come down to people, roll that open. It's going to find the people in the scene. And once it finds the people in the scene, it will have the overlay. And it should have this group of four people here and then these three people out here. And the reflections as well. So you see how it got the reflections and it got the shadows of the people as well. This was very early in the morning when I was here. So you can see the the um, shadows are really long. And there's no way to modify it. Again, I can't come in with a brush and change anything. I click on the brushes and hit the delete key again and get rid of that selection if I want to. But there's no other way to add to it or select to uh, or to add to it or subtract from it. So we'll click remove again. And when I tried this before I started the video, it actually did a pretty good job. I thought it looked really well. But we'll let it go do its thing. And um, it's taken a longer time than it did uh, when I did this before I had the screen recording software running. So I'm pretty sure my screen recording software is just taking up a lot of available memory on my computer and slowing everything down. And you can see that it did a pretty good job. And if I uh, close or go off the tool, you'll see the erasers are gone. You can see it looks fine. It did a really nice job. Now, for now, until it someday ends up in Lightroom Classic and the so-called cloud version of Lightroom and maybe even Lightroom Mobile, um, why you might want to do this, uh, I do know of some people that use Adobe Bridge as their digital asset manager, and then they edit images in Camera Raw. They rarely ever go to Photoshop. They just go to Camera Raw. So for those folks you that use Adobe Bridge, you could just go into Adobe Camera Raw and get rid of the people, and you don't have to then go into Photoshop. So it's a little faster for you. Again, hopefully someday, though, they do add this to Lightroom. I don't have any inside knowledge, but I'm pretty sure they will someday add it to Lightroom. And when they do, those of us that use Lightroom will be able to do this without going into Photoshop at all. So that's it. That's what's new in Adobe Camera Raw. Thank you, everyone who watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. We'll talk to you guys soon.